Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be unboxing the US Rangers from Warlord Games. Big thanks to Warlord Games for sending out this bolt action set of US Rangers. You're going to get 30 miniatures in here all together, and during the video, I'll get the box open, go through all the contents so you can have a good close up look at the sprues and everything that's in the box, and then I'll build 11 miniatures so you can see all the different weapons when the models are assembled. These are designed for bolt action specifically, but no reason why you can't use them in any other miniature agnostic games. And you've got loads of options here with weapons, as you'll see. And this is also inspired by the movie Saving Private Ryan. And the set will give you six heads that are there designed to mimic the characters that were in the movie. So let's get this open then and we'll have a look at everything that's included. These are going to be a great addition if you play bolt action and you're looking for some new units for your army. And later on this year is the new edition of Bolt Action that will be coming out, the third edition. So I'll be covering that here on the channel. Really looking forward to seeing what they're going to be doing with it. But here we go then. Here's everything that you get in the box. You're going to get this sheet that details everything that's on the sprue. So it's all going to be numbered on this page. And then on the back here, you're going to get a little painting guide and some examples of those soldiers from Save It Private Ryan. And some of the other models that you can make with all the components as well. This page is gonna give you a few of the tips there as well for to use when putting them together. So we've got our little bases and there's gonna be 25 on this sheet with the Warlord Games inscribed on the back. And then these are very flat, but they've got a little lip around them, which is great if you're using Vallejo paste or something like that to fill in your bases. Works really nicely. And I like how close the models are to the table with these. You've got another five there as well. And then you're going to get five sprues. They're identical, and each sprue is going to give you six miniatures, so 30 altogether. This is all packed by Morella, and in here you're going to find the transfer sheets. There you go. These are for the US 2nd and 5th Ranger Battalions, all in 28mm scale, and tiny, tiny little decals here for everything you're going to need to customise these models. So we've got five sprues, all identical. We'll only take one of them and have a close-up look at all the components. Once you've had a good look at these, I'll build the models and then you can have a real close-up look so you know what they're like when they're assembled. But very nice sprues. I'm really impressed with these. Heads are great. I mean, looking at these six here, these are the ones from the movies. There's some resemblance, but they're not really standing out as the characters from the movie here. But I think when you put them together with the weapons and the different poses, then that does come across a little bit once they're put together. But I really love the little additions like the torches there and the axes on the top right. Those torches are awesome. I don't think I've seen those on any of the other sprues I've got so far. And then we've also got some of the daggers, all sorts of weapons. I'll talk through those weapons in a bit more detail once we put them on the models. But really nice crisp sculpts here. Not an awful lot of cleanup to do either. Once they're snipped off the sprue, you can hardly see those mould lines at all. So very quick to put together. You've got some more heads at the top. Another five there. There's also another head that we saw earlier on. So altogether, you're going to get 12 different heads, which is fantastic. So you can really mix it up with the different poses and the different bodies and all the weapons. So you can have a real nice mix. So if you wanted to put together all 30 miniatures and have them on the table at once, I think you'll get enough variety here. As well as bolt action, I'll certainly be using these in my own skirmish game, Rogue Warriors. So I'm looking on this sprue. It's perfect for that. And there's certainly enough on here for you to make over 10 different characters mixing up the sprues and using bodies from the other sprues, of course. And then you could have different specialists as well. So for skirmish games, I think this has got a lot to offer. But obviously for bolt action, it's going to be brilliant too. All right, time to get these assembled then. Let's put together 11 miniatures. And here we go. We've got six in the front. These are all the saving private Ryan poses. And I'll have a look at each one individually so you can see exactly what I've done with them. And then at the back, we've got five others as well with some different weapons, including that bazooka. One's got the dagger, but really nice models. I was really happy with these and looking forward to getting them painted up. Here's the first one. This is going to be the main man, the Tom Hanks character, Captain John Miller. And I've given him the submachine gun. That's the Thompson SMG there. I've also given him the SMG magazine pouches on the back and the pistol as well. And you can see, let's get in his, in his face as much as possible there. So you can have a look. Very nice. Then we've got a sniper character. I always like snipers in my games. This is Private Daniel Jackson. And that's a decent expression on this one, actually. Probably one of the better ones, I think, from the heads. I think they've caught 
the likeness really well there. I've given him some pouches, a canteen and the dagger as well. Then we got Private Stanley Mellish. This one's pretty good. Lots of attitude as he's walking along. Really well done. And then the same thing, putting on those extra features, pouches, daggers, all sorts going on there. So you've got lots of options to add things. Next up, we've got the larger gun. This is the Browning Automatic Rifle. And this one is Private First Class Richard Rabin. Again, canteen, backpack, great pose. Very cool. Then we've got Private Adrian Capazzo. And this one is going to be armed with a different rifle. This is the M1 Garand. And then I put some extra pouches on the back as well. Because this is quite an open pose. So I wanted to fill it up with canteen knife and pouches. And then next up, we have got Technical Sergeant Mike Horvath. And this is the M1 Carbine. Loads of pouches on the back. And another canteen with dagger too. So he's issuing some commands there as he's running along. So that's the six from the movie. And then I thought I'd build five more just to show off the other weapons. So here you've got the bazooka. That's the M1 bazooka. And then this guy, I thought it'd be cool to give him a knife. So they use the M3 trench knife in this one. And I've also put a torch behind his back like he's hiding it so he can sneak up on the enemy. Great for if you're playing perhaps a solo game of ungentlemanly warriors. You could use this model in there as well. And then here I wanted one running as if he's going to back up the bazooka guy there. He's got the extra bazooka rocket, which I thought would be cool to give him. And then this one, we've got a satchel charge. And then he's carrying an SMG over the shoulder as well. And I love having all these different options. Kits like this just give you so many different ways to put them together. And then here's the final one. We've got another one of the rifles. And I've put the axe on the side too. These axes are really nice. You're going to get three per sprue. So plenty of those for kit bashing later on. So I built all of those just from these two sprues. And you can see this one. I've pretty much used everything. There's a few other pieces there I haven't used. Those are the M1A1 Bangalore torpedoes and a bazooka rocket bag as well. And there's also another head at the top, which I think would be good to maybe keep later on if you've got some vehicles or something going on. A few other things, satchel there. And then I put a few pieces on the models from this other sprue, just mostly the bodies, really. So you can see that you're going to get all those different weapons from that one sprue. So this is an action packed set for sure. And then there's three more to go. All those bases. So a lot you can build from this and the decals to finish them off once they're painted. All up a really fun set and I hope you've enjoyed seeing this and if you've got any questions let me know in the comments down below. I'm really happy with this set and a big thanks to Warlord Games for sending it out for me to share with you. I've got another unboxing next week for them, some more from their Actung Panzer game where we can have a look at some British tanks so that's really fun. But for now, thank you so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did like it, it'd be great if you hit the like button, subscribe as well to keep up to date with all the videos and I look forward to seeing you here next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. A massive thank you to my Patreon supporters and I hope you've been enjoying all the discounts on those expansions for Rogue Warriors lately. Lots more to come and we've also got the new game Rune Warriors being released on the 15th of July this month. So only two weeks to go so expect that and more expansions for that game as well. So it's going to be pretty packed over on Patreon. It'd be great if you want to come and join us as well. Links down below. It'd be awesome to see you there.